Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to today's class. How are you today? ¿Cómo están el día de hoy, chicos? Very good, teacher. And you? I'm doing Fun. very good. Hello. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Did you have a good weekend? Good morning, teacher. Hi, Diego. Yeah. It was a long weekend without seeing you, teacher. <laughs> oh, my God. It was a long Welcome weekend. back. <laughs> you too. Welcome back. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Of course, of course, my dear. Chicos, que van a verlos de nuevo. Eh, espero que hayan tenido un feliz fin de semana. Me gustaría saber what activities did you do during the weekend? ¿Qué actividades hicieron en el fin de semana? Vamos a ver si logramos decir algo en inglés de lo que hicimos on the weekend. ¿Ok? ¿Quién, quiere, quién le gustaría compartir? Who would like to share? Sa Sandra es Caterine, ¿cierto? Okay, Caterine, hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm doing great. Tell me about your weekend. Yes. My weekend was uh, very, very nice um, because I'm going to my husband to we, we go uh, out and eat. Okay, great. Bye. And um, my family. Mm -hmm. yes. My family uh, uh, was here and we cooking together. Or we uh, eat together. That's great. That's great, Katerina. Yeah. Very good. My mom. Nice. Okay. My, my aunt, yes, my aunt. My aunt, uh -huh. she's come from uh, uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand, yes. Wow. She's come to Colombia, so uh, we were together. Ah, oh, you were together. That's great. Wow, New Zealand. How many hours from New Zealand to Colombia? Imagine. How how many hours, horas? Uh, 24, oh 24 hours. Uh, I think, uh -huh. I don't know, I think it was more than 20 hours. Oh more than 20 hours, mm -hmm. I think. You think so, right? Yes. Wow, it's a long flight. Un vuelo muy largo. 20 hours. My God, I can't imagine. Yeah. But it's great. It's, it, was that your aunt, Tutia? Your aunt? No, uh, okay, okay. La persona de New, Nueva Zelanda es Tutia? Your aunt? Yes, my aunt. Yes. Your aunt from New Zealand. That's great. That is fantastic. I, it's great that you had a good time, Katerina, with your family. Yes. 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 Thank, you. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, great. So Caterine was with her family. She was cooking with her family. She was eating with her aunt from New Zealand. That's great. That is great. Let's continue with Daniela. Daniela, hello. Good morning. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very good. That's great. What did you do on the weekend? Um, I watched movies mm -hmm. and went and went out to eat with my family. Oh, that's great. What did you eat? Do you remember, Daniela? What did you eat with your family? Because mm, I said picada in English. Hmm. Picada. I don't know how to say pica in English, but you can say, um, let me see, I'm going to look it up because I, I don't know. You can look it up. We have a dictionary here. And so you ate picada with your family. Let's see if I strike this. No. Mm, okay. Bueno, aquí digamos que es una palabra un poco más... Eh, abierta, más general. 
pero le dicen um, appetizer. Appetizer. El appetizer es más como una entrada. <laughs> Picada de zancosa. <laughs> Yes, Daniela, so you, so you, you ate um, picada with your family, right? That's great. That is great. Um, anything else? Algo más? Anything else? That's it. That's it. Okay, Daniela, thank you so much for sharing. That was great. Uh, Diego, hello. Hello, teacher. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you today? Very, very great, teacher. Thank you. Awesome. What did you do over the weekend? Okay, I was doing different activities. Mm -hmm. Also, um, for example, I was cooking. Really? I, yes, uh, I was cooking salmon. Oh, delicious. Yes, uh, I was about some, uh, I was in the farmer. Uh -huh. it's, it's a supermarket near from home. Uh, about some groceries, mm -hmm. and I cook. I cook. I was cooking the beans. The Sunday, on Sunday. Uh, Sunday uh -huh. Yes, uh, delicious too. Yes, uh, I was watching soccer. Uh, my team also. Uh -huh. um, I was watching movies. On the platform Netflix, uh -huh. in family, mm -hmm. and the sun, uh, on Sunday we go out to shopping mall. Okay. Yes. Mm, that's all, teacher. That's all. Well, you did many activities, Diego. That's great. Yes, teacher. What about you, teacher? What about me? Well, I also did different activities. So I went out with my family. We went to eat. We went to Manizales, to the hot springs. Hot springs is um, Aguas Termales. So we went to Manizales, to the hot springs. It was great. I had a great weekend. Manizales hot, hot, hot springs? Yes, well, Manizales, but, or Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Santa, Santa Rosa. Rosa. Yes. It's Wonderful, very, teacher. Yeah, it's great. It's very relaxing. The hot springs yeah, 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 are very good. relaxing. Great. They're yes. great. Yes, I recommend them, guys. Come yes, to, teacher. Yeah, come to Santa Rosa de Cabal, and they are really good. They are very relaxing. Beautiful. Beautiful hot springs. Mis chicos, entonces, aguas termales, termales se le dice hot springs. Hot springs. Okay. Yes. Great, guys. Thank you so much, Diego, Daniela, and Catherine for sharing, for compartir acerca de su fin de semana. Eh, Thank so, you. Well, of course. Eh, gracias por compartir y qué rico que la hayan pasado bien. Espero que todos ustedes la hayan pasado muy, muy bien. De eso se trata. Disfrutar. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bueno, muchachos, darles la bienvenida a nuestra third week, tercera semana de nuestro curso. Y bueno, no, muy contentos de que estén aquí, sigan perseverando y aprendiendo. Yo sé que a veces es complicado sacar toda una mañana, pero ustedes lo han hecho y eh, por eso me alegra muchísimo. Ok, chicos, bueno, this week, esta semana vamos a hablar sobre food, comida, chicos. Así que pues yo sé que a Diego le gusta cocinar mucho y eh, yo sé que vamos a aprender cosas interesantes, Vamos a hacer diferentes cosas, esta semana vamos a hacer diferentes cositas, pero casi que todo relacionado a la parte de food, comida, ¿listo? Ok, guys, very, very good. So, vamos a comenzar, let's begin. So, let's talk about what's your favorite. Chicos, ¿se acuerdan que ayer yo les envié unos, unos un vocabulario en PDF sobre diferentes tipos de vocabulario relacionado a la comida? Right? So we have fruit, vegetable. Chicos, listen to this. Esta palabra es... Dime. In a appropriate time to send us that information. Why? Because the dinner was very, very close. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know. Yes. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, guys. Dinner, I know. dinner was very close. Plato. 
Yes. ¿Es, es this, es el plato o, o es lo que está servido? Es que ahí me confundí. Vale, listo. Dish, sí, es el, es, el, es el plato, puede ser ambos, de hecho. Puede ser el plato físico donde servimos la comida, pero también puede ser un plato ya con la comida, ¿sí? Entonces, puede ser ambos, okay. ¿sí? Ok, bien. No. Igual que en español, ¿no? Igual que en español. Puede ser el plato físico o un plato ya con comida. Ok. Very good, guys. So we have fruit, vegetable, listen to the pronunciation, vegetable, drink, and dish. Ok, guys. Ahora, la idea, the idea, is for you to tell me your favorite fruit, vegetable, drink, and dish. Ahora. Let's remember, vamos a recordar fruits in English, ¿ok? Fruits in English. Me gustaría que en el chat me escribieran fruits in English, ¿ok? Las que ustedes recuerden, the ones that you remember. This in the chat, type it in. Uh, Nidia says apple, peach, uh, yummy. Naranja, what in English? Strawberry. Strawberry, Daniela, good. <laughs> Watermelon, okay, orange, pear, blueberry, cherry, okay, pineapple, pineapple, piña, oh, for example, this is a pineapple, coconut, Espera, this is apple, orange, and pineapple. Okay, nice. Watermelon. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> Watermelon. Watermelon. Uh huh. Melon, también, or cantaloupe. Blueberries. Yes, okay, guys, awesome. So you know a lot of them, a lot of fruits, right? Okay, guys, great. Now, I would like to hear. What is your favorite fruit, guys? What is your favorite fruit? For example, my favorite fruit is mango. I love mango. Okay, so what is your favorite fruit, Daniela? My favorite fruit is strawberries. Oh, they're yum. They're so good. Yes, strawberries. Okay, so Daniela's, <clears throat> excuse me, Daniela's favorite fruit is strawberries or are strawberries very good who else let's see let me ask uh, mariana what is your favorite fruit mariana what is your favorite fruit okay let me ask esperanza esperanza what is your favorite fruit Esperanza, recuerda activar el micrófono para que te podamos escuchar. ¿Cómo, cómo decimos piña? Eh, my favorite fruit eh, is... Pineapple. Pineapple, eso. Pineapple. Pineapple. Oh, yummy. Pineapple is great. Yes, pineapple. Ok, thank you, Esperanza. Katherine, what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is pineapple. Pineapple too, okay. Pineapple is great. Diego, what is your favorite fruit? Teacher, tell about favorite. It's complicated because I like a lot, but pineapple, mango, papaya, banana. Aha, okay, good. So you have many favorites. Yes, teacher. Yes. Many favorites. Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. most fruits are delicious, right? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, they are delicious and very good for you. They are very good for your body, for your health. So, muy buenos. Yes. They're very good. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes, very good. Papaya. I like that. Papaya. Okay, chicos, recuerden que cuando ustedes vean una Y in English, esa Y va a sonar como una I. Entonces, no es papaya como en español, no? We say papaya. Papaya is good, right? Papaya is very good for your stomach. 
<laughs> okay, guys, awesome. Let's continue with vegetables, guys. Vegetables. Now, vegetables are very healthy too, okay? Saludable. It's very healthy for you. What's your favorite vegetable? I would tell you my favorite vegetable. My favorite vegetable is, I love them with all my heart. They are, well, I love different, but these ones are my favorite. Mushrooms. You know mushrooms? Mushrooms yes, are... Yes, teacher, I love it too. You love them too? Yes. yes. Mushrooms. Um, Diego, what are with mushrooms? With pollo. With pollo, yes, delicious. With chicken, yes. They are great. Champignones. Champignones, exactly. Yeah. I love champignones. I love mushrooms, okay? They are my favorite fruit, uh, vegetable. Well, actually, are they... Are they a vegetable? Are they? Well, they are from the fungi kingdom, but let's say they are a vegetable. Listo, sigamos con Catherine. Catherine, what is your favorite vegetable? I have two, okay. a carrot and potato. Carrots and potatoes. Okay. They are very good. They are yummy too. Okay, great. Um, Daniela, what is your favorite vegetable? Uh, my favorite vegetable is a uh, potato and cucumber. Ah, okay. Cucumber. Yeah. Cucumber, guys. Cucumber. Para aquellos que dicen que es eso, cucumber es pepino. The, the cucumber is very refreshing for the salad. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, very good. Diego, what is yours? What is your favorite vegetable? Teacher, I want to I want to do appreciation about cucumber. It's on like cucumber, no? Por eso le decimos acá en Colombia pepino cucumber. We call cucumber. Maybe, maybe. Something. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. I like uh, I like tomato, zucchini, uh -huh. plant egg, delicious. Eggplant. Yes, eggplant. Uh -huh. Good, it's really good. Yeah. Yes, it's zucchini. Zucchini, zucchini. Yes. Zucchini. zucchini is great. And what was the other potato? Tomato. 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 Tomatoes are great. Yes, very good. Now, chicos, eggplants. It's purple. Yeah. It can be big or small, but generally it's big, and is used for lasagna sometimes it is used for lasagna okay so eggplant is berenjena eggplant okay good zucchini zucchini es ese eh, pepino como se le dice ese pepino acá pepino calabacín calabacín si sí, los calabacines son los mismos zucchini que, son que los vienen amarillo amarillos y verde. verdes ajá ese okay. se llama el zucchini ya yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. A plant is called to a virgin. Yes, in the in in England, in the United Kingdom, they call it aubergine. Yes, but in, in oh, the okay. United States, it's eggplant. Mm -hmm. Aubergine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, guys. So let's go to the favorite drink now. Your favorite drink may depend, puede depender, depends on the weather, yes? If it's hot or cold, right? Yeah? So, for example, when it's very hot, what's your favorite drink? In my case, when it's hot, my favorite drink is um, probably Lulo juice. I love Lulo juice, cold Lulo juice, okay? When it's very hot. Tell me, when it's hot, guys, when it's hot, what, what is your favorite drink? Aquí me levanto el monito. Catherine, yes. My favorite drink is water mm -hmm. and mango juice. Oh, yes. Give me five. I love mango juice, too. <laughs> okay, so water and lulo juice. Excuse me, mango juice. Yes, very good. Nidia, what is your favorite drink? Fisher, my favorite drink is water and coffee. Ah, water and coffee. Good. Yeah, that's great. You Do you like black coffee or coffee with milk? Together. And 
I like black or women. Ah, so you like both. Yes. Yes. Cuando quieran decir ambos, decimos both. I like both. O sea, que together, ¿a qué se referiría? Together teacher? es juntos. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, se te interpretaría como que te, te los tomas a la misma vez. ¿Sí? Pero entonces, uh -huh. ¿te gustan ambos? ¿Sí? So, you like uh -huh. black coffee and you like coffee with milk. Both. You like both. Ah, okay. that's good. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Nidia. Let's continue with Diego. Diego, what's your favorite drink? Teacher, where, uh, in my breakfast, I like hot chocolate. Uh -huh. okay. Hot but chocolate. when it's hot, I like Lulu lemonade. Oh, my God. That Yerba is... buena lemonade. Yes. Yerba buena. Yer... Well, How yerba, do you say yerba buena? In English, you say mint. Mint. Mint? Lemon... Yeah, okay. Lemonade. Yeah. Mint lemonade. Lulu lemonade. That's Strawberry it. lemonade. All, all lemonade. All types of lemonade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. Lemonade is great. It's very refreshing. Refrescante, yes. chicos. Very refreshing. With ice. Yes, with ice. Yeah, good. In Cali, in Cali it's hot, so you need refreshing, yes. refreshing drinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, people go to go out, uh, eat cholado. Oh, yes, cholado, so good. Cholado. Somebody knows who cholado is? What is cholado? Chicos, you know cholado? ¿Lo conocen? I know cholado. Yes, this no, I no love it. Yes, I love it. Chicos, Delicious. ¿conocen yeah. el cholado? Los chicos, cholado. So, let me show you. I'm going to show you a picture para que se antojen and go and eat. <laughs> El cholao, look, guys. Teacher, you are so antojona. <laughs> <laughs> so mean, mala, mala, mean. <laughs> look, guys. This oh, is wonderful. Oh, my delicious. goodness. So looks delicious. It looks delicious. Oh, look at this one. Yum. Okay, so guys, it, it has fruit, it has a uh, milo, it has condensed milk, it has many things. It's really good. It's really good. No apto para diabeticos, pero it's really good. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's continue with the funny thing. What happened? One moment, guys. Let me go back here. Show. Listo, ahora sí. So guys, let's let's finish with our favorite dish. Dish, okay? Plato ya preparado, okay? So what is your favorite dish? In my case, my favorite dish. I love I love food, guys. I love food. But I would say that my favorite dish is mm, Bolognese pasta. Mm. Okay, I love Bolognese pasta. It's my, one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite uh, food or dishes. Okay, Bolognese pasta. Okay, so guys, tell me, what is your favorite dish? Favorite dish, yeah, un plato ya hecho. Diego, yes, tell me. Teacher, I love seafood. Seafood, oh yes. You seafood. Love seafood, right? So, yes. you love a fish or shrimp or octopus? What is your favorite? Yes, yes, all the, all the food, the seafood. All the seafood. Okay. Yes, all, all, all kind of seafood is delicious. Okay, that's great. That is great. So, Diego loves June rice. seafood. Chin rice, uh, for instance, is delicious. Which one? Shrimp rice. Oh, shrimp rice. Shrimp rice, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Mm, yeah, it is, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so seafood, chicos, comida de mar. 
Diego loves seafood, right? Daniela says, my favorite dish is fish and chips, salad, and rice. Ooh, that sounds great, Daniela. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let me hear you guys. Let me hear you. I want to hear... Um, bueno, ¿quién no ha escuchado? Oh, Franklin. Hello, Franklin. What is your favorite dish? Remember, dish is un plato ya hecho. Okay, so bolognese pasta in my case. Diego loves seafood. ¿Qué más? What else? Tell me. I want to know. Hi, Franklin. Sa oh, Esperanza says my favorite is salmon sushi. Oh, wow. That sounds very nice. Salmon and sushi. Great. Sushi. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. Uh, yes, Katherine. <clears throat> my favorite food is rice uh, with egg. Your favorite dish is arroz con huevo. Right. Okay, so rice with egg. Okay, or egg, eggs with rice too. Yeah, it's very. It's a simple thing, but it's very delicious, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. That is great. That is great. Uh, okay, thank you, Katherine. Franklin says, my favorite dish is hot wings. Ooh, hot wings. Ah, aprovechando que dice eh, Franklin, hot wings. Chicos, ustedes saben que la palabra hot generalmente pues la conocemos como algo que es caliente, ¿verdad? Pero hot también indica que algo, sobre todo cuando pues si hablamos de comida, también puede ser que está picante, ¿ok? Picante. Okay, entonces, en el caso de Franklin, he likes hot wings o oh, alitas picantes. Wings, alitas. Great, Franklin. Very good. Mexican food. Yeah, like Mexican food is hot. O también hay otra palabra que es la palabra spicy. Okay. Lydia says, yes, me too. I love it. Okay, great. That is great. Chicos, super, super bien. Lydia, what is your favorite dish? Um, every food, every Mexican food. I love, I favorite uh -huh. every Mexican food. Really? I like, I like the food hot. You like hot food or spicy food? Oh. Very, very hot, yes. Ah, okay. That's, that's very nice. So you like spicy food like Mexican, you know, Mexican food. Yeah. That's great. Do you have like a favorite? Do you like like quesadillas or burritos? What is your favorite? Eh, quesad I favorite mm, quesadillas. Quesadillas. Okay. Yes, they yeah. are great. They are great. Okay. Very good, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nidia. Thank you. Listo, chicos. Super bien. Entonces aquí con este ejercicio aprendimos varias cositas, right? Aprendimos sobre algo de frutas, fruits. Uh, remember to say papaya, mango, pineapple strawberries, right? My favorite mushrooms son los champiñones, mushrooms. Uh, carrots, potatoes, cucumber, es el, el um, pepino, the cucumber. Eggplant es la berenjena. Zucchini. Chicos, acuérdense que cada vez que ustedes vean la Z en English, va a sonar como la abejita. Z zucchini, zucchini, right? The zucchini is great. And tomatoes. Okay, good. Lulo Juice y Mike Hot Choc, chicos. Acuerden que cuando hablamos del chocolate caliente, sí, el que nos tomamos en las mañanas o en un día frío, se le dice hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Okay, porque si decimos solamente chocolate, se refiere como al chocolate en general. Pero al que se toma, hot chocolate. Okay, mint lemonade. Ok, guys, y sabemos que cuando queremos decir que algo es picante, se puede decir de dos maneras. Se puede decir hot, como en este caso, hot wings, o spicy. También se puede decir spicy, cualquiera de los dos, hot or spicy. Ok, guys, great. That is great. I love that you have very delicious favorite food. Ok, okay guys, so, lesson of the day. Ok, ¿qué vamos a ver hoy? Vamos a hablar so, sobre... What do you eat every day? Ok, vamos a ver vocabulario relacionado a food, right? También vamos a utilizar o ver cooking utensils, ok? Cuando uno va a cocinar, chicos, pues necesitamos diferentes utensilios, utensils, right? Vamos a ver cuáles 
vamos a usar. ¿Listo? ¿Y cuál es el vocabulario? Y también, pues, necesitamos saber cuáles son los verbs, cooking verbs, verbos relacionados a la cocina o, al co o a cocinar, ¿ok? Que cómo se dice rayar, pelar, cortar, eh, al, al vapor, en fin, ¿listo? Y finalmente vamos a hacer un ejercicio, uh, let's cook, en donde al final, la, probablemente después del descanso, haremos esta actividad, ¿ok? All right, guys, very good. So, are you ready? Are you ready to start? Are you ready to start? Give me a little heart. If you're ready to start, a little heart, because I am ready. I hope you are ready to start. Okay. Ah, bueno, aquí Esperanza nos dice, I love Mexican food, tacos, quesadillas, etc. But, too, or I love Ah, Peruvian food. Ooh, Peruvian food is amazing. Yes, I agree. Peruvian food is amazing. Okay, Esperanza, thank you so much for sharing. Okay, guys, so it says, do you eat fruits and vegetables? Guys, it's important. It's important to eat ¿Tienes una página? fruits and vegetables, okay, because they are really good for you, okay? They are very healthy. Ok, chicos, entonces cuando queremos decir que algo es saludable decimos healthy, healthy food, healthy food, ok. So, fruits and vegetables are healthy food. Se los voy a colocar por acá, aquí en el chat, healthy food, ok. Fruits, vegetables are healthy food. Ahora, lo opuesto, the opposite, right, is, um, let's say junk food, o comida chatarra, junk food. So, we can eat junk food, but rarely. ¿Se acuerdan cuando veíamos los, los, uh, los adverbios de frecuencia? Rarely, junk food, healthy food, always, or very frequent. It's good, it's good for you. Okay, guys, awesome. So, we're going to watch a video. Vamos a ver este videito, chicos, donde vamos a ver un vocabulary about fruits and vegetables, okay? Please pay attention to the word, la escritura, the pronunciation, y miremos la imagen. Ok, chicos, todo esto nos va a ayudar a recordar cómo se llama esa fruta o ese vegetal, cómo se pronuncia y cómo se escribe. Ok, so are you ready, guys? Let me see. Uh, yes. Ok, let's watch it. English Sing Sing <coughs> Fruits and Vegetables Apple Apple I like apples Banana Banana I like bananas Broccoli Broccoli. I like broccoli. Cabbage. Cabbage. I like cabbage. Carrot. Carrot. Cucumber Cucumber I like cucumbers Grapes Grapes I like grapes Onion Onion I like onions. Orange. Orange. I like oranges. Peach. Peach. I like peach.
beaches. Pear. Pear. I like pears. Pineapple. Pineapple. I like pineapples. Potato. Potato. I like potatoes. Strawberry. Strawberry. I like strawberries. Tomato. Tomato. I like tomatoes. Review. Apple. Banana. Broccoli. Cabbage. Carrot. Cucumber. Grapes. Onion. Orange. Peach. Pear. Pineapple. Potato. Strawberry. Tomato. Okie dokie, guys. Yeah, so that was a lot of vocabulary related to uh, fruits and vegetables. Guys, tell me, look at this, look at this uh, frame here. What does she like? What vegetable does she like? Look at the picture. Hey, Catherine, yes. Recuerda activar el micrófono, Catherine. Catherine, no te escuchamos. Recuerda activar el micrófono. No, profe, perdón, Ahora es que sí. toqué. Ahora sí. Perdón, toqué. Toqué sin. Cabal. Cabbage. Ajá. Cabal. Ajá. ¿Cómo dirías? A ella le gusta el repollo. She likes cabbage. Exactly. Very good. She likes cabbage. Sandra, eh, Catherine, do you like cabbage? Yes, I like. Okay. I like. Yes, that's great. Right. Right. Very good. Now, chicos, repollo is not red chicken. No, it's cabbage. Cabbage with double B. Yes, great. Okay, guys, awesome. Cabbage, right? So let's talk about what does she like, guys? What does she like? What does she like? What does she like? Daniela, yes. She likes grapes. She likes grapes, correct. And do you like grapes, Daniela? Yes, I like grapes. Okay, good. You're good. That's good. You know, in December, December 31st, 31, we are going to eat how many, how many grapes? Uh, 12 grapes. 12 grapes, right? One for every month of the next year. Yes, that's great. Okay. That is one tradition that we have in Colombia. Okay, good. Let me see. Ooh, okay. So, do you remember what animal likes this um, fruit? According to the video, what animal likes this fruit? Nivia, yes. Deer. The bear, right? The bear. Okay. Y lo chistoso es que bear suena parecido a esta fruta. What is this fruit, Nivia? Pear. <laughs> pear, right? Pear? Yeah. So the bear, bear likes the pear, right? Likes pear. Bear. Yeah. Bear. Uh-huh. Good. Do you like pear? 
Yes, I like bears. You like bears. That's great. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay, let me see. Ooh, okay. I know that one student from this class loves these. <laughs> Do you know who? I know, Diego, I know you love bananas, right? Yes, teacher, I love banana. <laughs> you love banana. Okay. I love it, banana with milk. With milk, right. <laughs> no, banana <laughs> is great. Banana is great. Yes, it's healthy. It's healthy, absolutely. A lot of potassium. Okay, okay. Yeah, it has potassium and other vitamins other and minerals. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. 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 Guys, do you make smoothies? Smoothies. Smoothies are como batidos. So banana goes great in smoothies. I, I, I recommend you to make smoothie with banana. Banana split. Banana split. Banana split. Oh my God. Banana split is great. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay, good. Ooh, okay. What does she like? What does she like? Guys, what does she like? Diego, yes. She likes potatoes. She likes potatoes. Do you like potatoes? Yes, teacher. Mm, okay. Rarely. Rarely? Yes. Oh, you, I don't eat that a lot. You don't eat that But lot. I like. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's great. Well, guys, there are different... Um, preparations for uh, potatoes, right? For example, las que son así como eh, cocinadas, yeah, you can say they are, uh, or, or um, horneadas, se llaman baked potatoes, yes? Baked potatoes, las que son como horneadas, okay? Tenemos las papitas fritas. How do you say papitas fritas in English? I know you know. French fries. French fries, right? Aunque también solamente se pueden decir fries, chicos. Fries. De hecho, les dicen más solo fries, pero cualquiera de los dos está bien. French fries or fries. Chips. Ah, Daniela, qué bueno que, que dijiste chips, porque bueno, no quiero confundirlos, pero sí que sepan lo siguiente. Entonces, le, imaginémonos, let's imagine we go to the United States, yes? We go to the United States and... We go to McDonald's, right? We go to McDonald's and we ask for fries, okay? In los Estados Unidos, cuando queremos papitas fritas, decimos fries. Can I have, uh, can I have large fries? Yes, okay? Fries in the United States. Pero si vamos a McDonald's de England, okay, Inglaterra, allá no les dicen fries, sino que les dicen chips, okay? Chips. Así como lo escribió Daniel aquí en el chat, chips. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? ¿Listo, chicos? Entonces, fries in the United States and chips in England. Pero si nos devolvemos, we you go back to the United States y pedimos chips, nos van a dar las papitas de paquete. ¿Sí? Las papitas que uno compra en la tienda de paquete de pollo de limón, esas se llaman chips. ¿Ok? Yes. Entonces, hay que saber. Ok, teacher. Yes. A little confusing, un poquito confuso, pero recuerden. Chips in the United States, papitas de paquete. Fries, papitas de... Sí, las que comino con la hamburguesa. Pero si nos vamos para England, remember, you say chips, las papitas eh, de, que comemos con las hamburguesas. ¿Listo? Ok. Ok, awesome, guys. So, yes. They, uh, in London, they know the fries. They know the what? Fries. The fries. Fried. French fries. If you say fries, yeah, if you say fries, they understand, but they okay. say chips, okay? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like, for example, if a person from uh, from Spain come to Colombia, if they come to Colombia, they say patatas, right? A las papas, they say patatas, right? We understand patatas, but we don't say patatas, we say papas. So it's the same, it's the same thing, yeah? Okay, guys, one more, one more before we continue. Okay, oh, look at this cute animal. Where is the cute animal? This guy. Okay, so what animal is this, guys? What animal is this? 
Do you know how to say this animal in English? Rabbit. It's a rabbit. That's good. Rabbit. Very good. Now, what do rabbits like? What do they like to eat? Rabbit. Eat. I like eat carrots. Yes, they like to eat carrots. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Do you like carrots, guys? Do you like carrots? Or not so much? Yes, teacher. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. They say that carrots are good. Carrot juice. Carrot juice. Oh, the juice is amazing. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. With, uh, mix it with orange. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. And they say, dicen, they say that carrots are good for your eyes, for your eyesight. So we have to eat. <laughs> eat carrots. Eat carrots. Yes. Okay, guys. Very good. So let's continue with our class because we're going to do something guys we're going to do this okay so we are going to says let's make a fruit salad okay do you like fruit salad nos pregunta Keisha do you like fruit salad let's make one okay yes right fruit salad is amazing guys thumbs up thumbs up if you like a fruit salad fruit salad if you like fruit salad I like fruit salad, it's great. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Chicos, bueno, si ustedes quieren decir me encanta, decimos yes, I love it. Yes, I love it. Okay. So in my case, I love it. And Daniela says, yes, I love it. Diego's, I love it. Okay, guys, so let's see. We need the ingredients, okay? We need the ingredients for this salad. Now, Look at the picture, guys. We have beautiful, beautiful ingredients here. Let me make it bigger so you can see it better. Like this. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, please. Oh, my goodness. Here. Okay, good. So look at these, like, they look like black, but they are, like, purple, like a very dark purple. What are these, guys? What are these? The little round fruit grapes those are it, they look like parece, they look like grapes but they are a little different San, eh, it's a, it's a black cordon black black uh -huh. cordon no no they're not oh no oh well Diego is saying in Daniela blueberries yes this is right Blueberries, chicos, los arándanos. Blueberries, los arándanos así oscuritos. Okay, so those are blueberries. Actually, they are really, really healthy. Really, really healthy for you. Antioxidants. Okay, so these are blueberries. Many, 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 many. Okay, let's go with the red. Look at the red fruit. What is that? What are those? Strawberry. Strawberry, Strawberry right? Daniela's favorite fruit, strawberries, strawberries, yeah, okay, good, we have strawberries, look, look at the green, the green um, fruit, what is that, Katherine? Uh, that is kiwi, that is kiwi, Katherine, do you like kiwis? No, not so much, I, I don't like. okay, no, no. all right, that's fine, it's okay, Chicos, si no quiere decir como que, mm, no mucho, uh, you can say, ah, not really, not really, no mucho, not really, okay? Diego says digestive, what, the kiwis are digestive, are like good for your digestion, yeah? Okay, good, all right, so if you are constipated, ah, chicos, les enseño esto. Uno en español dice que cuando uno dice constipado es como está agripado, ¿verdad? Entonces uno ve esta palabra en inglés, constipated, y uno piensa que es que está constipado en inglés, ¿no? ¿Ok? Entonces este es un falso amigo porque no quiere decir constipado, sino que quiere decir apretado el estómago, chicos. Cuando uno no puede hacer del cuerpo... Está constipated, ¿ok? Cuando no come mucho bread, bread, bread. <ríe> Estreñido, exactly. 
Okay, entonces constipated. Lo opuesto a diarrhea is constipation. Okay? All right. Good. Así que, teacher, ¿usted de qué está hablando con este plato tan rico y hablando de diarrhea and constipation? Pero, a ver, si no quieren estar constipated, eat a lot of fruit. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Listo, chicos, vamos a continuar. Fiber, they have a lot of fiber. Muy bien, fibra. Look at this yellow, these yellow pieces, these yellow pieces of... of Pineapple. Pineapple, oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, good. Pineapple, what about this, chicos? What do you think this is? Like this kind of like orange, yellow fruit. Mango or papaya? It could, yes, right. It could be mango or papaya, yeah. Let's say, I think it looks more like papaya. I think this is papaya. Yeah, mm -hmm. papaya yeah, is good too. Cheese. Well, this one, this one right here. Let's see, what else do we have here? In any place, teacher. In any place? It's a, yes, it's, it's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Está escondido, it's hidden, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's say that under under the fruit is the cheese, right? Very, very under. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, probably, right? <laughs> Guys, miren, esta, esta fruit salad tiene como unas cositas verdes. No sé si las ven como una hojita. I think... This is mint, lo que vimos ahorita como la hierbabuena, kind of like that. It looks like mint. Chicos, cuando uno quiere decir en inglés, parece, dice, it looks like. ¿Sí? Entonces, si yo veo algo y parece como otra cosa, digo, ah, it looks like. It looks like mint, it looks like mango, it looks like strawberries, yeah, it looks like. Muy bien, chicos, awesome. Now, This is a very healthy, very healthy fruit salad, right? Very healthy. Now, in Colombia, nos gusta eh, colocarle otras cositas, ¿no? Otras cositas más que no la hacen tan healthy, pero sí muy delicious, right? Okay, good. So, in Colombia, what do we add? Vamos a colocarle aquí Colombian, Colombian style. Okay, so in Colombia, a esta fruit salad le añadimos what? Ice. Ice. Ice cream? Ice cream, ice yes. Ice cream, right? Helado. Ice cream. Okay. What else? Condensed milk. Ah, that's right. Condensed milk. Yes. Leche condensada. Condensed milk. Okay, ahorita, Diego. Yum, yum, yum. That is really good. It's delicious, right? The cheese, right? We add the cheese. Cheese, grated cheese. And what else? What else? I think we're missing one. Creo que nos falta uno más. One more that is, is great. Is really good. Hmm. No sé si se dice así, pero cream, cream milk. <laughs> Me lo estoy inventando. Uh, well, casi, casi, Nidia. It's heavy cream. <laughs> heavy cream. Leche, la leche entera, la leche, crema de leche, crema de leche, crema de leche, dice heavy cream, ok, oh my god, I see, entonces Colombian style, we add the fruit, and on top, encima, the ice cream, condensed milk, the cheese, and the heavy cream, and it's ready, it's ready, guys, are you hungry? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yeah, right? We're getting hungry right now. We're getting hungry. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is fruit salad. Mm, vanilla cookie. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Vanilla. Sometimes we add here vanilla cookie or wafer. Yes. A la wafer que le, que, la wafer que incluye, yes, vanilla, vanilla, okay, in English, vainilla, vanilla, okay, yes, guys, so there we go, there we go, this is fruit salad, okay, the fruit salad, 
uh, healthy like this, así, Colombian style con todo esto, but it's delicious, right? We don't mind, no nos importa, because this, with this is great, with all these ingredients, it's really good. Con todos los juguetes. Con all, all the toys. <laughs> Michel, a, ese le, a ese le adicionan los chips de, de chocolate. ¿Really? En, en algunas, sí, en algunas. No, es que, mejor dicho, en muchos sitios lo de preparan diferente, okay. pero cantidades de ingredientes. Es true, es true, sí. Es yeah. yeah. <laughs> true, sí. Yes. Pero um, sí, fruit salad is really, really good. Ok, guys, now, do you know this fruit? Guys, do you know this fruit? Guanabana, right? It's guanabana. But do you know how you say guanabana in English? In English speaking English? Ah, very good, Nidia. Uy. Aha, good. So Nidia is like, I know, you say soursop. Yes, good. Must be look acá. Is soursop. Now, guys, raise your hand, sour, soft. Raise your hand, levante la manito, raise your hand if you like sour, soft. Raise your hand, levante la manito. Yes, okay, good, right? Okay, good. Now, if you don't like, if you don't like sour, soft, the dog, sour, soft. If you don't like, no, oh, I don't like sour, soft. No one? Okay, all right, good. Yes, most people, la mayoría de personas, most people like sour sap, okay? So, guys, now together, together, we are going to make juice. You know, sour sap juice is, I love it, is the best, right? So, let's make juice. Okay, guys, so what are the ingredients, okay? Vamos a colocar aquí, together, let's talk about the ingredients. So, what are the ingredients, guys? Of course, we need eh, sour sap, right? We need sour sap. So we need sour sap. We need milk. Yes. Um, sugar. 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 Right? We need sugar. Oops. We need um, what else? Ice. Some people say ice. Okay. Lemon. You said um, Diego. No sugar for <laughs> no sugar for me, right? Okay, so sour sap, milk, sugar, and ice. Okay, those are, let's say that those are the main ingredients. Uh, mo, lo más eh, principal. Now, guys, let's talk about the utensils. Utensilios. What utensils do we need? Acá me están diciendo. You were telling me, eh, Daniela, the blender. Blender, right? Necesitamos la licuadora. We need the blender. Yes, correct. We need the blender. What else? If we need to, si necesitamos revolver, what do we need? Mm, okay, we need a spoon, right? A spoon to stir. To stir, we need the spoon, la cuchara. And also to add the sugar, right? Okay. ¿Dónde echamos el juice? Where do we pour the juice. Uh, right. So we use a pitcher, right? A pitcher. Es una jarra, o también se puede decir jug. Cualquiera de los dos. A pitcher or a jug. Okay? So we add, we pour in the juice. Right. Any other? Oh, and para servirlos, to serve them, we need what? How do you say vaso in English? Right. We need glasses, right? Not these glasses. No, not these ones. Ones you, you used to drink, right? Okay. Great. Great, guys. So, imagine, guys. Imagine we have, imagine we have the sour sauce, yeah? So, this is the sour sauce. And, ¿la echamos entera? No, right? We need to... How do you say pelar in English? 
Any ideas? So, so this is the sour sop and we need to peel it, right? We need to peel it first. So we need to peel, peel the sour sop. Okay, so let's peel the sour sop and we open it. Yes, we open it. Okay, good. How do you say semillas in English? Any ideas, guys? Any ideas how you say semillas? No? Okay, that's fine. Say seeds. So we have to remove the seeds. Yes? Remove it. We have to remove. So we open and we remove. Daniela, peel is pelar. Peel. Peel. Yes, like the banana. You peel the banana. Yes? Good. So you peel the sour sap, you remove the seeds, and with the pulp, con la pulpita, pulp, yes? This is the blender, we have the blender here, and we put it into the blender, yes? Yes. What is next? ¿Qué sigue? What is next? What do we add now? Because add quiere decir añadir. So this is the blender, we add the sour sap pulp, we add what could be the water, right, Diego, or milk. Se lo van a hacer totalmente en leche with milk, right? Uh, if you want it with sugar, we add sugar, right? We add the sugar. And then if it's very hot, you want it to be cold, you can add honey too, Diego, that's right, and ice. And you, ooh, you blend, 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 right? Chicos, liquor in English says a blend. Yes? You blend it, you blend it, do, 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 do. Okay, finish. And then you have the glass here. And then you, how do you say verter? To serve? Yeah, could be to serve, yeah, puede ser servir. Pero cuando es, digamos que se trata de un líquido que lo echamos de un recipiente a otro, le decimos pour. Pour. We pour the juice into the glass. And then drink it and enjoy, right? Yes? Okay, awesome, guys. So, yes, guys, this is how you make sour soft juice. Okay, these are the ingredients. These are the utensils. And these are the verbs, okay? So remember, imagine you have a banana and you peel the banana, peel it, right, before you eat it, okay? Cuando, for example, when we are eating uh, grapes, yes, when we are eating grapes, we open the grape and remove the seeds, yes? We remove the seeds, okay? Recuerden, add es añadir, add, 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 añadir. Blend, when, you make, when we are making juice, we need to blend it up, blend, right? And finally, pour, pour, es verte, okay? Como echando algo que es líquido en otro recipiente, to pour something, yes? Okie dokie, guys, now we're going to look at some vocabulary, guys, look at some vocabulary. Ahora sí, chicos, vamos a mirar vocabulario relacionado a esto. If you want, you can you can write. Chicos pueden escribir. Pueden... Bueno, hay personas que les gusta escribir, otros que ponen atención y ya se les queda. Dependiendo pues como de su estilo de aprendizaje, chicos. Yo recomiendo que look, listen, and write. Okay? Okay, guys. So, it says, uh, Jeremiah nos dice, when we cook, we need certain utensils. Okay? Cuando cocinamos necesitamos ciertos utensilios, right, right? So kitchen utensils and verbs. Entonces vamos a mirar, chicos. Vamos a empezar por acá. Let's begin here. So this is, guys, this right here, a la masa, cuando vamos a hacer bread, we can, we can uh, use this. Espérame que, que estoy por acá. I would like to teach how to make, to cook well around here. Okay, great, Diego. ¿Sabes qué, Diego? You can do that after the break. Yes? Do you think you can do that after the break? Yes, 
hasta el... That's great. Ok, awesome. Listo, chicos. Entonces, vamos a mirar aquí el vocabulario y entonces ya continuamos, ¿ok? So, guys, cuando vamos a hacer bread, pan, yes, we have something that is called the dough. La masa, the dough. Aquí está, dough. So, imagine this is the dough, ¿ok? Now, ¿qué vamos a hacer con ese dough? Well, we need to knead it. Knead. To need is amasar. We need to knead the dough. Knead the dough. Yes? Okay. Then also we can, with the dough, we can roll it out. Como que es, es eh, pasarle el rollito para que quede así como planito. Eso se llama roll out. ¿Con qué? With what instrument or utensil? With the rolling pin. So with the rolling pin, you roll out the dough. Yes? Okay, guys. So here we have roll out. And to need, serían los verbos. Okay? So these are, what are these, guys? How do you say this in English? What are these? Do you know how to say this in English? Leia. But the, the food. Diego, what's the food? These. They are, I think they are French. Creo que son franceses ahí. Pancakes. All right, pancakes, right? Yes. So if you have three pancakes, you layer them, right? So layer es colocarlo uno encima del otro, como por capas. ¿Layers? Layer. Layer son como capas. Cuando algo se pone por capas, por ejemplo, for example, de merengón, merengón, you use the cookie, and then you put fruit, you layer the fruit, and then you layer the heavy cream, more cookies, y así. Layer es colocar por capas, ¿listo? To layer. Ok, guys, hasta ya lo sabemos. Add is to add, añadir, ¿ok? To add. Then we add the cooker, chicos, cooker, eh, esa la, se le llama la estufa, ¿ok? Se le puede decir cooker o también se le puede decir, ¿quién sabe otra forma de decirle a, a la estufa? Cooker or the... The stove, right? The stove. Estufa, stove. Okay, so the cooker or the stove. Guys, imagine you have, what is this? What is, what is this? Pan, right? Bread. Y queremos eh, juntarle butter, mantequilla. So, in English, esparcir o untar is spread. Spread the butter on the bread. Okay, guys, you say it at home. Spread, okay, spread. Chicos, me gusta, me gustaría que dijéramos, miráramos, dijéramos el verbo de forma auditiva, ¿listo? Y hiciéramos la mímica, ¿ok? Todo eso nos va a ayudar, chicos, a recordar el vocabulario, ¿listos? Entonces, spread the bread, spread the butter on the bread, ¿ok? Spread. Ok, awesome. Now we have this beautiful, how do you say huevo in English? Egg. 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 Pero cuando vamos a hacer una, un perico o unos huevos revueltos, scrambled eggs. scrambled eggs, right? No echamos el huevo entero, no. We need to break, break Bake. the egg and put it into the pan, right? So break, romper, break. Now, para aquellos que les gusta hacer cakes, tortas o bread, pan, que tienen que ser como medidas muy específicas, Well, you need to measure. Guys, listen. Measure. Measure. Measure means medir. Yes? Measure. Measure the, the, the flour or the sugar. Okay. Measure. Medir. Okay, guys. Great. And Okay. Weighing quiere decir como pesar. Weighing, pesar. Okay? Good. Now, guys, we have, what is this? You tell me, what is this? In English, ooh, se ve muy delicious, so good. It looks so good. How do you say carne in English? Meat. You say meat, right? Y esto parece como carne de res. Do you remember how to say carne de res in English? Is beef, right, guys, beef. This is beef. Yes. With the beef, la acción que podemos hacer es to carve. Now, carve se refiere a trinchar, ¿ok? 
So what do you need for, for carving? You need a knife, right? You need a knife and you need a, a fork. So the fork and the knife, you carve the beef or you carve the meat. Yes? Okay, guys. Listo, super. Eh, listo, aquí tenemos, for example, for the juice, ¿se acuerdan cuando hicimos el sour sap juice? Lo pusimos en un jug, ¿ok? Jug or pitcher, cualquiera de las dos. ¿Y cuál es la acción, the action? What is this? This is to pour, right? The pour, ¿ok? Guys, I want you to do this. Quiero que en casa hagan esto. Pour, pour the sour sap juice, pour, ¿ok? Good. Uh, hi, Jose. Welcome. Okay, good. So, let's continue. Ah, ¿se acuerdan que ahorita tenemos the, the potato? With the potato, you can peel the potato, right? Peel, peel. Hay un instrumento que utilizamos que es este, el peeler. Peeler. Yeah, so you peel the potato with the peeler. Yeah? Okay. Ah, okay. Whip. And uh, whip here. Tenemos whip es como revolver, whip. Y para whip utilizamos un whisk, este, este utensilio que tiene así como unas varitas, eso se llama un whisk. Chicos, ¿ustedes saben cómo se llama esto en español, un whisk? Yo no he podido saber cómo se llama un whisk en español. A ver, ¿quién, quién, quién sabe? Yo siempre le digo whisk. What is a whisk in Spanish? Vamos a buscarlo aquí. Como una cucharona, teacher. Ahí parece una cucharona de wood. De madera. Mm, yes, no, no, pero no. Es, ah, bueno, un batidor. Sí, es como un batidor. Mira, un whisk, eh, ya les voy a mostrar acá. No, acuérdate, es como cuando uno va a mezclar, por ejemplo, los huevos o la harina, es como un utensilio que tiene como unas mm, varitas así. Tu, tu, ¿Sí? Y eso se utiliza para revolver, para batir. Como un mezcladorcito, un agitador. Uh -huh. Sí. Cuando se hace la, la, la clara y la yema, los huevos, cuando se quiere hacer un batidito, Ajá. como estilo un batidorcito Exacto, pequeño, no sé cómo. Sí, como un batidor ¿Sí? de mano, sí. Lo correcto. Mm -hmm. Exacto. So, this is a whisk in English, ¿ok? Now, chicos, un bowl, this is a bowl, como un tazón. Sí, this is a bowl and this is a bowl too, ¿ok? Ok, guys, so, when you make a cake or bread, pan, You have to bake, bake, hornearlo, bake it. Yes, bake. Now, guys, let me ask you, pregunta para ustedes, question for you. Do you like to make cakes or bread at home? Chicos, hacen torta en casa, do you make cake at home? Fernando, yes, really, do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Daniela. Yes, I do. Catherine, really? That's great. Tienen que enseñarme. You have to teach me. You have to teach me how to make cake at home. Okay, great, guys. Very good. But you, you can teach me in English. Ooh, that would be great. That would be great. Chicos, super. Muy bien. Eh, sigamos acá, entonces. Tenemos aquí a carrot. This is a carrot, right? And we dice. Ahora, chicos. Dice. Como ustedes decían que aquí hay como cuadritos. Pues es que dice quiere decir cortar en cuadritos. ¿Sí? En español tenemos una frase, cortar en cuadritos. Y en inglés tenemos el verbo dice. Dice. Yeah, so you carrot, you can dice it. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's continue with this chef. Look at this chef. And lo que está haciendo es chop. Chop es, es cortar. Pero es un corte más, como más grueso, no tan definido. So chop, 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 chop. Ok, chop. Ok. Y esto es donde cortamos, pues se llama un chopping board o también se llama un cutting board. De cortar. Cualquiera de los dos. Chopping or cutting board. Ok. Ok, guys. Let's continue here. We have to cook. Ustedes ya saben cuál es cook, cocinar. We have a spatula. This is a spatula. For example, when we are going to make lemonade, we squeeze, squeeze, estripar o exprimir, squeeze the lemon, right? This is bread, and we slice, slice the bread. Okay, cortar el pan, slice the bread. 
Chicos, importante, important. When you cook, yes, when you cook, it's important to taste. Taste what you're making, ¿ok? Es importante probar lo que se está haciendo, ¿sí? Para saber si, ne si necesita more salt or less salt, yes. Ok, bien. Bien. Eh, boil, boil es hervir, to boil. Boil the water, boil, boil. Ok, boil. Then we have here, chicos, importante, ahorita cuando estamos haciendo el jugo, the juice, with the spoon, with the spoon, you are going to stir, stir, revolver, stir. Yes, so with the spoon, you're going to stir, 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 stir. Okay, for example, if you have um, black milk and you add sugar, yes, you stir, stir the sugar. Okay, good. Guys, great, great. Is you have the cheese, imagine you have the cheese, and this is the grater, and the grater, and you grate, grate the cheese, grate, 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 yes, grate the cheese. Okay, awesome. Then we have here the fry, to fry, yeah, fry, freír, y donde freímos, when in the frying pan, this is the frying pan, and it's a pen, the frying pan, yes? Okay, good, guys. So look at this um, guy, this chef. Y sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. ¿Se acuerdan, chicos, de ese chef que se volvió famoso por echarle la sal como así? <laughs> well, that is to sprinkle. Sprinkle the salt. Sprinkle. Okay? Sprinkle the salt. Or whatever. It can be sprinkle cinnamon. Yeah? And finally, we have the grill. The grill. El, oh, to grill is asar. Yes? Grill is el, el asador. You see, grill and grill. Okay? All right, guys? So there we have a lot of information. Yo sé que mucha información, muchos verbos y muchos utensilios, pero la idea es que los podamos usar eh, ahorita más tarde, okay? Ahorita los vamos a usar. Chicos, um, do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos? ¿Alguna pregunta en cuanto a pronunciación, en cuanto a... Eh, Meaning, significado, o alguna pregunta que tengan antes de irnos al break. Any questions? Teacher, can you remember me what is carve? Carve, yes. Carve, this one is trinchar. You know, okay. Cut, como, sí, trinchar, la carne. Carve. Did you eat carve? Did you eat carve? Uh, in my, a long time ago? A long time ago, yes, I did. Yeah, sure. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I go to a vegetarian restaurant and they serve carne. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Because, okay, to explain the other people because the people is, is a little young. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't know what I say. Ajá, uh -huh. carne. Sí, um... Chicos, pues no sé si recuerdan que hay algo que llama carve, carve en español, que era como, o que es inclusive, porque todavía lo siguen usando. Una for, como, una, eh, como una comida vegetariana, o sea, era como un tipo de carne, pero hecho de muchas veces a base de lentejas o de cosas como parecidas a la carne. Pero en inglés, en este caso, carve, se pronuncia carve y quiere decir trinchar, cortar la carne. ¿Listo? Ok, guys. ¿Any other questions? Chicos, eh, les voy a dejar eh, este, este allí, ok, les voy a dejar este allí, eh, para que lo tengan, igual yo les voy a enviar esta diapositiva también para que la tengan en casa. Y ahorita, eh, bueno, también se las voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp para que también la tengan para la actividad que vamos a hacer ahorita. ¿Listo? So, for now, guys, for now, Let's uh, go to the break. Vamos a ir al descanso. Let's go to the break, ¿ok? Cuando volvamos, vamos a poner esto, este vocabulario en uso. Vamos a utilizarlo, ¿ok? Ok, guys. So, it's 10.23, chicos, 10.23. Nos veríamos a las 10.43. A las 10.43 nos volvemos a ver para que continuemos. Recuerden, chicos, que siempre les digo, stand up, think something, stretch, estírense. Eh, para que cuando volvamos estemos 
como nuevos, like new. Okay? Thank you guys. See you in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Bye guys, see you in 20 minutes. Hello guys, hello, hello. Welcome back. We are going to continue, guys. We're going to continue. Okay, so we are going to continue with this activity. Okay, vamos a continuar con esta activity. Diego Ararato nos dijo que he would like to tell us how you can make ranchero eggs. Les voy a mostrar cómo podemos, podemos hacer huevos rancheros. Right, Diego? So you're going to tell us, okay, what are the ingredients? What are the utensils you use, right? And what are some, here when I say cooking verbs, me refiero como a las instrucciones. Instructions, okay? The instructions to make ranchero eggs. Cuando decimos las instructions, bueno, pues usamos los verbos, right? Usamos los cooking verbs. Okay. So, uh, Diego, are you ready? Hello, teacher. Hi. I came back. You came back. Great. You came yes. back. So, are you ready to tell us how you prepare ranchero eggs? Oh my God! Yes. What surprise, to the teacher! <laughs> you said Thank you wanted you. to show us. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's start. Okay. Let's start. So let's start with the ingredients, Diego. What are the ingredients we need? Yes. Mm, this is um, receipt for one person or one people. One person. Right? If you have a lot of people, for example, four people. You need more ingredients, but I why I want to say only for one person. Okay, got it. So a recipe, chicos, receta is recipe for one person. Okay, so let's look at the okay. ingredients. Ingredients, uh, we need one egg, uh -huh. two two tortilla corn 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 tortilla. Uh -huh. Tortilla corn. Corn okay. tortillas, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, one tomato. Yes. One onion. Mm -hmm. Yellow cheese. Yellow cheese. In, yes, in a slice. Uh -huh. In slices. Two. Two yellow cheese. Yellow cheese slices, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. two. Two, yes. Uh, two, two, two yellow cheese, okay. Um, butter. Mm -hmm. Butter. Um, that's all. That's all. That's all. Uh, maybe, maybe a spice, a heat spice. Okay, so spices, yes. Ketchup. Okay, ketchup. Ketchup. Okay. Uh, if I remember something else. Salt? Sorry? Salt, Diego? Yes, yes, a little. Mm -hmm. A little salt. Mm -hmm. ah, um, guys, when you want to say un poquito, you say a pinch. Come on, a pinch. A pinch okay. of salt. Yes. Una pizquita, okay. Uh, listo. That's it. Ready. Okay, let's, so let's go back to the utensils. What are the utensils we need to make this? Uh, we going to need uh -huh. pan. A pan, okay. Yep. We need... Mm, I can see it. Okay, a knife. A? Knife. A knife? Yes. A knife, okay. We we will need um shopping shopping board shopping table shopping board uh -huh. shopping board right la tablita yes yes mm -hmm. um you will need uh I can see something like weeks weeks. 
No, una cuchara, cucharona, una cucharona. Ah, okay. Para, a, para a revolver. Yes. Yes. Mm. That's all. That's all. Okay, good. No, we'll be in there, we'll be in there. That's it. Okay. So now we have the, the ingredients and the utensils, right? So yes. let's go with the instructions, Diego. So what is the first thing we do? Okay. The first thing is break the egg. Uh -huh. Break the egg. Yes. And the other is you have to cook cook the onion and tomato in a slice. Cut the onion and tomato, and tomato in, in slices. In slices. In slices. Like slices yes. Son como las tajaditas así, slices, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you, you have to stir, stir each other. Yes, stir each other in the pan. Okay, so we maybe we one. maybe we need three pans. Three pans? Because you need yes, because you need one to the onion and tomato. Uh -huh. Another for the heat the tortilla. Uh -huh. And other for fry the egg. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. So okay. in the a little little pan. A little pan. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the first pan, the first sartén, the first pan. To mix the onion and tomato. Okay, so yes, you can mix. Mix is nice clear, no? Yes. Mix the onion and tomato. And tomato. Okay. Good. It's, it's like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Then you have to. Fry the egg. Okay. Fry the egg. Okay. Not so hard. Mm -hmm. The 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 la clara clara del huevo dura. Uh -huh. oh, I heard. Pero what do you say? No, a little hard, a little hard. La clara. But the la, yes, but but la yema is soft, la yema blanda. Uh -huh. Chicos, vale, entonces el huevo tiene, digamos que dos partes, ¿verdad? Right? La yema, en inglés se dice yolk, so in soft yolk, la yema, ¿sí? Yes. And hard eh, white, la parte blanca se le dice white, la wow. clara, oh, okay. ¿sí? La clara, entonces se dice white. Sí, el inglés es así, simplecito. Yolk, okay. white. Okay, you have to hit the tortilla corn both sides. Tortilla corn, the corn tortilla, the corn tortilla. Hit the tor tortilla on both, both sides. Right? Both sides. Ambos lados, both okay. sides. Yes. Hit it. Yes. Right. Okay. When you ready. Mm -hmm. All these el ingredients are ready, uh -huh. and then we're going to emplate to server. First, put one uh, corn tortilla. Layer, right? We can layer this. Yes. Yes. Layer. Yes. So yes. Layer the like the sandwich. The sandwich, right? So what is first, Diego? First, mm -hmm. in the plate on the plate, mm -hmm. you put the corn tortilla. Okay. Tortilla. Then one then. yellow cheese. Then yellow. One slide of yellow cheese. Uh -huh. One slide, slide of yellow cheese. Yes. Later, put the egg fried. Mm -hmm. Fried egg. Then. Another, another slice cheese. Mm -hmm. Then put the onion and tomato together. Mm -hmm. 
then add ketchup and uh, spices. El picante, la heat. If you want it. If you want it. This is optional. If right? you want it. Yes, it's optional. It's optional. Oh For last tip, put the another corn tortilla. Ah, okay. And this is the last one. Uh -huh. Put a little ketchup on the tortilla, on the last corn tortilla. Uh -huh. A little bit of a little bit of ketchup on, on the, the tortilla. tortilla. Okay. Yes. Oh my and finally, uh -huh. go to the table and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Wow. Yes, it's delicious. Uh, I learned to cook it with my cousin. Uh -huh. He's chef in in New York. Uh -huh. And they told me, they told me how to cook it, but it's delicious. It, it looks uh, delicious. My wife, and my daughter, uh -huh. I love it. They love it. They love it. Oh my god! Yes. Wow. Well, thank you, Diego. That sounds amazing, guys. Oh, okay. thank you, teacher, for the opportunity to share this recipe. Thank you, of course, of course, guys. Chicos, thank you. Pruebenla y me cuentan, por favor. Please. Taste. Prove to prove cooking and let me know how do you think about it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Chicos, I guess hello. Try it. Try it at home. I'm gonna try it. This sounds amazing. Okay, guys, so remember these are the ingredients for making ranchero eggs. Remember, for one person, one egg, two corn tortillas, one tomato, one onion, two yellow cheese slices, rebanadas. Okay, butter, spices, sp spices son especias, ketchup, salsa de tomate, and a pinch of salt, yeah, just a pinch. Utensils, acuérdense chicos que frying pans son como las sartenes, yes, three frying pans, knife, the chopping board, and the spoon, right, to add. Listo chicos, ahí les dejamos entonces para que... You try this at home. Lo hagan en casa y nos cuenten cómo les fue. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make this at home. Sounds delicious. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Just invite me, please. Yes, I will. <laughs> Unless I follow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, this is my ranchero eggs. <laughs> yes. Chicos, sí, verdad. Because, If you make them. Porque es que aquí conocemos el, el huevo ranchero, pero es como scrambled eggs. Y le aplican unas salchichitas y ya es un ranchero. Exacto, sí, sí, yo pensé que era así, pero al buscarlo no, no. me di cuenta que es diferente, qué bien, that's great. Sí, inclusive en México le, le adicionan frijoles. Sí, eso estaba viendo. Como salsa de frijoles. Ajá. No, eso le, 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 le meten de todo, pero eso es una delicia, delicia. Se puede comer hasta dos en una sentada, pinche, <risa> oh my God. Diego, are you hungry? <laughs> I just, I just ate. <laughs> oh my God. That is great. Listo, chicos. Y como dice Nidia, de inglés y de cocina. Esa es la idea, chicos. Esa es la idea, que aprendamos cositas, no solamente inglés, sino también cocina. Listo, así que try it at home. Bueno, mis amores, entonces ustedes van a hacer algo similar a lo que hizo Diego, pero ya les voy a decir cómo, ¿ok? So, we are going to do, vamos a hacer una actividad en donde les voy a asignar, digamos que ustedes saben que a lo largo del día hay básicamente cuatro tipos de meals, de comidas. In the morning we have what? In the morning we have? Breakfast. Breakfast, right? In the morning, right? At noon, al mediodía, at noon we have? Lunch. 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 Around three or four, we have break. a break or a snack, right? Como un snack, como snack. unas medias nueves, o bueno, en la tarde le dicen el algo. El algo. ¿Sí? El algo. Como en la finca. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Y en la noche, at night, we have dinner. 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 Very good. Okay, great, guys. So, Teacher, maybe five meals 
on day. Maybe by what? Sorry. Because in the morning, mm -hmm. at nine. A la, las me, esas sí son las medias nueve. Sí. Yeah. Well, that, can <laughs> Creo be, yo. that can be a snack. Yes, that can be a snack too. Mm -hmm. Okay. That can be a snack. Yes, absolutely. So, guys, um, yes, so, but mainly we have four meals a day. Four meals a day. Okay. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Cada uno de ustedes, chicos, les voy a asignar un tipo de comida diferente. Ya les voy a mostrar nuestra, aquí nuestra wheel, nuestra rueda nos va a ayudar a asignar, ¿ok? So, guys, ya les voy a asignar primero y ya entonces les digo después qué es lo que vamos a hacer, ¿ok? So, vamos a ir aquí en orden, como están ustedes aquí en la lista. So, for example, primero Diana y Patricia o Camila, right? María Camila. So, we're going to spin, vamos a spin, spin the wheel. And vamos a ver qué food o qué meal of the day le toca. Ok, lunch. Un poquito el volumen aquí a esto. Ok, so Camila, you have lunch. Tenlo ahí presente, lunch. Ok, let's continue with Daniela. Ok, Daniela, for you, the spin. Spin, spin, spin the wheel. You have dinner, Daniela. Okay, let's continue with uh, Diego. Okay, Diego, for you it is, let's see, let's see, let's see, dinner too, okay? Diego, for you it's dinner. Okay, Esperanza, Esperanza. For you, it's going to be a, a snack, okay? Snack. Recuerda que snack es un es entre comidas principales, ¿sí? Como un algo, unas medias, something like that, okay? Franklin, this is for you, Franklin. So, Franklin, you have... Let's see, let's see. Franklin snack too. Okay. okay. Jose, Jose, for you it is a. Let's see. Breakfast, okay. Breakfast. For uh, Margarita. For you is okay. Let's see. Let's see. Margarita, you have breakfast too. Okay, breakfast. Let's continue with um, Maria del Carmen. Maria del Carmen, you have you have ooh, whoa. Chicos, para que vayan pensando lo, los muchachos que ya les voy asignando, ¿ok? You are going to prepare, ustedes van a preparar la comida que les estoy asignando, breakfast, or lunch, or dinner, or snack. Entonces vayan pensando como en los ingredientes, en qué van a cocinar primero, en los ingredientes, los utensilios y... ¿Cómo puedo decir yo con las instrucciones breves? No tiene que ser así súper elaborado, sino eh, poner esto, añadir esto, revolver, ¿sí? Entonces, es, ya les voy a dar un ejemplo para que miremos, ¿listo? Entonces, vayan pensando, vayan pensando en un breakfast, en un lunch, en dinner, dependiendo de lo que les haya asignado. Entonces, María del Carmen, dijimos que es un snack, ¿ok? María del Carmen, for you, a snack. Mariana, Mariana, for you... Mariana, for you, we have a snack, okay, snack. Mariana, Nidia, for you, you are going to prepare, let's see, Nidia is going to prepare breakfast, okay? And finally, Caterine. Uh, Caterine is going to prepare, let's see, 
Katerina is going to prepare lunch. Okay. Very, very good. So everybody has um, everybody has a different uh, assignment. Listo, chicos. Todos tienen un diferente tipo de comida. Ahora, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer, chicos? Bueno, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. He says, what do you usually eat for your meals? Ok. De chicos, ya les asigné el meal of the day. Ok. ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes? Say what you usually eat. Include ingredients, utensils, and instructions. De chicos, van a colocar, por ejemplo, for breakfast I usually eat. Entonces colocan, por ejemplo, Coffee, un ejemplo, coffee with milk, eggs, and uh, bread. Okay? This is an example. Entonces, chicos, aquí van a empezar a nombrar los ingredientes. ¿Sí? Si van a hacer coffee with milk, ¿cuáles son de esos ingredientes? With the eggs. Ok, bueno, el bread sí no, el bread ya se compra hecho, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, pueden hablar sobre cómo se hace de coffee with milk and the eggs, ¿ok? Entonces aquí hablan de ingredients, aquí van a hablar de los utensils, utensilios que utilizamos para hacer ese desayuno, en este caso, en this case, and the instructions, ¿ok, chicos? Ahora, recuerden que al WhatsApp, hacia ah, sí, grupo WhatsApp, les envié la foto donde están todos los verbos, ¿ok? Los verbos de cocinar y también eh, hay utensilios allí, ¿ok? ¿Listo, chicos? Entonces, la idea es que ustedes van a hacer esta actividad. Eh, también me gustaría que añadieran una imagen relacionada a su, a, a su comida, a su comida del día. ¿Listo, chicos? Eh, do you have any questions? Chicos, ¿alguna pregunta? ¿Any questions? Profe, una pregunta. ¿Cómo se dice libra en inglés? Ah, Por ejemplo, una libra. Good, good question. Libra en inglés se dice pound. Pound, pound. ¿Listo? Thank you, teacher. Chicos, entonces, ahí al chat les acabo de enviar este enlace. Entonces, la idea es que ustedes elijan una diapositiva, ¿sí? Por ahí en algún ladito me colocan sus nombres, chicos, para yo saber quién hizo cuál, ¿listo? Y van a elegir una diapositiva y van a empezar a hacer su eh, exposición. ¿Listo? Van a empezar ahí con su diapositiva. Y ya ahorita, entonces, vamos a ver cómo les fue. ¿Listo, chicos? Muy bien. Entonces, a ver, son las 11 y 6, 11.06. Chicos, les voy a dar alrededor de 15 minuticos. ¿Listo? Yo creo que en 15 minuticos terminamos. Entonces, a las 11 y 20, más o menos ya vamos a revisar y vamos a dar. La idea es que algunos de ustedes nos cuenten cómo hicieron ese, ese, esa comida, that meal. All right, guys? Any questions? <coughs> Profe, ¿cuál me corresponde a mí? Por favor. Eh, tú eres Camila. Camila, a ti te tocó... A si mal no recuerdo. Lunch, creo que te, te tocó lunch. Fuiste la primera. Gracias, sí, señor. Okay. All right, very good. ¿Listo? Entonces ya cada uno sabe lo que tiene que hacer y eh, vamos a hacer esa actividad. ¿Listo, chicos? Ok, 15 minutos. En 15 minuticos nos vemos para ver cómo les fue. Me encantaría ver eh, sus creaciones. Your meals. Ok. See you guys. See you in 15 minutes. Si tienen alguna pregunta me pueden escribir ahí en el chat, ¿vale?